chapter 5 we'll start chapter 5 straight line in the graphs so 5.5 y equal mx plus c so under this topic uh, we have to discuss uh, initially what is gradient what is gradient according to the knowledge you have in GCSE? Why we need gradient? Why we need gradient? To express what? Assume there is a staircase in the shopping center. And you want to know the slope. You want to know the slope of this staircase. How can you express this slope? You can express this slope as a angle or a gradient. Not sure, it is slope. angle if you know the angle between flow and this case is 40 you can tell that uh, slope you can express as a angle you can tell that uh, this staircase has a 40 degree slope Or you want to tell as a gradient. What is gradient? Gradient means if you walk one unit, how many units go up? How many units go up? If you work one unit, walk, you walk, if you work one unit, how many units go up? If you walk, uh, for example, if you walk one unit and you go up three units, then the gradient is three. If you work one unit and go up half a unit, 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 then if you go one unit, if you work one unit, then how many units go up? Half a unit. So gradient is, gradient is half. So this is the idea behind gradient. If you walk one unit to right, how many units you go up? As you it is, if you go one unit, you go up three, three units, units, then gradient is three. If you walk one unit, you go up half a units, then gradient is half. Now my question is, If you walk 20 units and you go 30 units up, what is the gradient? What 
what is the gradient mean if you go one unit if you walk one unit how many units go up now here you if you walk 20 minutes 30 minutes uh, 30 units go up so we have to do the calculation part now if you go 20 units you go 30 units up then if you go one units how many units go up then you have to divide both side by 20 it mean if you go one unit you go three over two minutes units up so gradient is gradient is three over two so you simply take this value i know 30 divided by 20 3 over 2, this height divided by this height. So now we discuss slope. You can express as an angle or as a gradient. So why we need gradient to express a uh, slope? Or give some information about a slope. My, my next question is, if you go one unit, then you know that in here gradient is 3 mean you are going 3 units up, then which direction you need to go? If you go one unit uh, and uh, th 3 unit up, which direction do you need to go? You need to go this direction. Same as here. If you go one unit to left and if you go half a unit to up, then which direction you need to go? This is the direction. Likewise, uh, if you go 20 units to here and if you and if you go 30 unit up, then which direction you need to go? this direction you need to go. If I introduce a coordinate here, 2, 3 and 4, 6. Now what is the gradient? So you have x axis, y axis, and you have x axis. 2, 3 mean you know that this point 2 units away. This point 2 units away. That's why x value is 2. This height is 3 units up. That's why this point is 2, 3. What is the meaning of this point 4, 6 mean? From here to here, this point, it is 4. And from here to here, it is 6. So then what is this height? This height mean we know this is a rectangle, if this is 3, this is 3 as well. It means this whole light is 8, 6, then this is going to be 6 minus 3. This is going to be 3. All is 6, this is 3, then this amount is 6 minus 3. Now I want to find this distance. What is this distance? From here to here, 4, from here to here, 2 then this is going to be 4 minus 2, which is 2. It means from rectangular, this is 2. Now I found out, if you walk 2 units to the left, you go 3 minutes, 3 units to half. What is the gradient then? What is the gradient now? So if you go 2 units, 
then you go three units up then what is the gradient you want to know that if you walk one unit so then to find one unit so i am dividing both sides by two so one unit is three over two so what is the gradient of this line three over Now, gradient is 3 over 2. How do you get this 3? You get 3, 6 minus 3. It means 6 means this y value of this one and 3 is this y value. So, 6 minus 3. It means y1 minus y2. I take this is y1 and this is y2, y1 minus y2. What is this one? x value 4 minus 2. Which is x1 minus x2. Now you know that gradient is y1 minus y2 divided by x minus x2. But this is wrong. y1 minus y2 minus x2 minus x1. What is the error? Because if you take y1 first, then the relevant x1 you want to take the first. If you take y1 first and you can't take x2 here. Right? So this is wrong. Right? This is right. y1 minus y2. So um, you may learn that change in y over change in x sometime. GCSE in the year 11 that's how they teach uh, change in y over change in x. So we talk about slope, so we can tell slope as an angle or a gradient. Which is now y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. Usually we give a letter m. M is gradient. So now this is y equal mx plus c or y equal y1 minus y2 x1 minus x2 x plus c that is also right because m I can write like this. Now you know gradient is uh, 3 over 2 here. Now let's come to the sine cosine. So this is a right angle triangle. So front of 90 degrees we have hypotenuse. Now I have 40 in hand. So if I ask a question what is tan 40? How do you find tan 40? When you come and stand up here, because this is 40 degrees angle, we don't need hypotenuse. We know that tan mean what? Opposite divided by adjacent. Now when you come and stand up here, this is hypotenuse. Apart from that hypotenuse, uh, what is the next adjacent one? This is the adjacent. There are two adjacent. If you uh, pick up this angle, this angle consists of those two lines. So those are two adjacents. Right? One is hypotenuse, then rest, 
other one is usually we refer as a um, adjacent then the other one front of is the opposite so this is adjacent and this is opposite now tan 40 mean opposite divided by adjacent which is 3 over 2 now but 3 over 2 is gradient then what is your conclusion tan 40 is gradient it means you can write this equation as uh, y equal tan 40 x plus c now what is the conclusion Now you have a staircase like this. This is theta. This is 90 degrees. Now what is the gradient? M. So you can tell gradient as if this is P height and this is T height. If you walk T units, you will go up P units. Right. If you go 1, P over T. Basically, simply you can divide this distance divided by this distance. So, P over T. Or, you can tell that, you know this angle theta. Gradient is tan theta. Or, if you know the coordinates, this is... Uh, x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 then m is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2 or both right or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 both are right i can prove this one this is both are right. Y1 minus Y2 over X1 minus X2. Right. From top I will take minus out. Then this is become Y2 minus Y1. Y1. From bottom also I will take o minus out. X2 minus X1. Minus to minus cancel out. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. So, what is the conclusion now? Gradient is either this distance divided by distance or if you know angle, the tan value of that value or if you know the coordinates, the difference of y divided by difference of x. In general, you can finally write y equal mx plus c or y equal P over T X plus C O Y over tan theta times X plus C O Y over Y minus Y2 over X1 minus X2 uh, X plus C times X.